Okay, so next is a very uh, innovative startup uh, uh, session. But before that, I would just like to give uh, a, a brief about the agenda that we have set up specially for you today. So for that, I would like to invite Anupam. So I'll just take a minute and uh, tell you that, that when we curated this uh, summit, so as you would have seen, there's a pattern. So we first had online by Anant, then we had offline by um, Mr. Vivek Biani, and uh, then Tesco talking about what are the challenges in implementing all this. And uh, uh, immediately before lunch, like as soon as I finish in a minute, we are going to have startup get walk-in who are along with their customer going to show it to you how they are implementing solutions. And there are going to be two more product showcases in the afternoon. One is by Purpul, which you must have seen when Mr. Vivek Biani talked about uh, they working with startups. And then there's another one, uh, BluePay, who already have customers. So three showcases. And in the afternoon, the exciting stuff we have lined up for you is a lot of technology uh, 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 presentations by Microsoft and architecture-related stuff. But I think uh, you must attend the final session, which is based on investor perspective. It is a very interesting panel discussion uh, with the very leading uh, venture capitalists, people who have actually got funding. So we hope we can keep you interested till 4 o'clock, which is the end of this summit. And we'll take 10 minutes uh, with the uh, get walk-in now. Then there's lunch. But we definitely want to start by 2, because it is a packed agenda. So we want to get as many things covered as possible. Uh, 145. Okay, we're going to start at 145 because we want to squeeze some of the other talks also. So, really glad to have all of you. So, get walking next. Yeah, start. Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I'm Rahul. Uh, I'm from Walk In Technologies. And uh, this is a case study for the trans digital transformation of Cafe Coffee Day. I have with me uh, Mr. Venkatesh, who is the Chief Technical Officer for Cafe Coffee Day. Hi, good afternoon. So, um, in 2015 is when Cafe Coffee Day realized uh, the potential of digital and the mobile revolution. That's when all the, uh, the different startups were starting right now and incentives were very high, attraction was very high. It was at, at that now, the, the Cafe Coffee Day is extremely widely spread, right? And what they wanted was a partner who will give them a digital solution, but they wanted a partner who will not just emulate American or Chinese success stories for their brand. Now, Indian customers overall are very different. Uh, but for, for some reason, uh, when uh, designing tech and tech solutions, we don't think that way. We don't cater it to the Indian context. So what we, what the what they needed was a, a company or a team that had that context. And uh, the team which actually did Aadhaar or UID and actually helped with the UPI implementation is the company which created Walk-In. And hence, we have the context for the Indian subcontinent especially. So we'll start from there. How do I change the slides? The green button, right? So uh, CCD is extremely widely spread, right? It, over 1,500 stores, 245 cities, one and a half crore unique walk-ins annually. This is on, I mean, very much comparable to a medium-sized national bank as well. So this is what CCD does. What CCD does really well is they have their ears extremely close to the ground. So the feedback from the staff to the top management, the channel is extremely active and a, a, a source of information from which they've been able to generate a lot of uh, improvements with, within the company itself. Uh, before 2016, um, or during 2016, that time, there were attempts to uh, collect customer information and collect customer feedback. How it met with limited success. These were mostly because of Indian problems. I mean, back in 2016, I remember there was this one customer who accounted for 1% of total revenue of Cafe Coffee Day. And it was insane. And we, we've been trying to get in touch with this person. We haven't been able to. All we know is his phone number, which is 999999999. Right? So I think all retail companies have this customer who come to them as well. So uh, this is, these are issues which we are facing in 2016 in terms of especially phone number collection. I think everyone 
faces a problem. Now, when, what happened post 2016 for Cafe Coffee, what changed things was number one, first of all, creation of a digital platform. And number two was to think customer centric, where instead of asking the staff to collect the customer, let's get the customer to ask the staff, to get the staff to collect his number through incentivization or creating value by asking the customer to share their phone number. So uh, we created the C-Series retail stack. There are several products which, uh, several features that we developed over the course of two and a half years, which we'll just show you. Um, however, the motto first, first of all, was to think customer, connect and not just sell. Uh, we wanted to think long term, we wanted to think customer centric and business would follow after that. The second uh, thing, uh, second motto was do not just enable. So uh, CCD, CCD's management team is extremely lean, heavily focused on operations and on ground, 250 stores like I said, uh, 1,500 stores over 250 cities. So uh, they couldn't be too much stress on the existing uh, team as well. So whatever we could automate, whatever uh, uh, manual, uh, manual tasks which happen, even if, if it happens at least twice in a month, that is something which is which, which you know is validated as require requiring automation. We also have a consult dedicated business team for them, which help them use this retail stack as well. So over the course of time, uh, the first feature which we developed was loyalty. After that, personalized campaigns, no explanation either. Online ordering and payment, feedback and redressal. Applications uh, and integration, which is your mobile app, React Native, uh, built and progressive web apps. Uh, field staff management, which is for the maintenance team, logistics team. And finally, Internet of Things. So we are, this is Beacon, SSID, and geofencing, all three combined. So uh, we've we built all this over the past of two and a half years, slowly starting with loyalty, moving on to personalized campaigns. Uh, for the application, first we built a mobile app for them. Uh, then we built an online ordering and payment solution, feedback and redressal system. The field management staff is the newest thing that is implemented right now for Cafe Coffee Day, uh, which, is, which will go live, I think, maybe in a month or so. And November 1st is the deadline, is the pilot date for that. Now, each one, once we've developed for Cafe Coffee Day, we started productizing each, each system. Uh, so loyalty becomes a reward X, feedback redressal becomes refine X, and so on. So this enables us to modularly pick each one out and fit it into somebody else's requirement. But also, all of this is built under a single system. So you can have a user flow, for example, where if you, if with Walkin, where if you, you built a mobile app through us, you installed a beacon in your store or uh, through your Wi-Fi, you have detected a customer that walks in, he gets a notification talking about a personalized campaign that he has received. He makes an online order to take validity, to take advantage of that campaign or the offer. He earns loyalty points because of that. At the end of it, he gives the feedback that everything was great, but the air conditioner was not working. Maybe you guys want to fix that. That gets sent directly to the field management system. And that technician is, the uh, ticket is raised against a technician assigned to that store and he goes and fixes that air conditioner. So the entire thing is built under the same system. Now, we've got a lot of feedback from a lot of people, guys, you're doing too much, you're not focused, you're, you're not jack of all trades, not master of none. Now, we've taken that feedback seriously, and that's something, a challenge that we think, you know, uh, we try to solve. But honestly, just choosing one aspect and saying, hey, guys, why don't you subscribe to this, but for notification, you might want to take somebody else. Or for feedback, you might want to look at somebody else. And then we'll work on integrating them together, and then we have these other issues. We could not do that. Or at least we do not want to do that. The clear objective that if we are transforming our business, we should take care of end to end. The, the way the team works is that we work extremely integrated within the organization. So it's practically an extension of the, of the organization and we, are, we, we work completely uh, as a part of that team and, and subscribe to some of the cultures as well in terms of what permissions are required, the, the red tape that is needed to get things approved and so on. We take care of that as well. Right. So now, um, like I said, a lot of feedback in the sense we are doing too much, but the results have been encouraging. So uh, back in 2016, where we had maybe 6 lakh users worth of purchase data, 50 calls a week, uh, only redemption rate of offers only 0.1 to 1% with an unknown ROI. 
right now we have increased that by manifold. So right now we have around 32 lakh transacted customers. Um, feedback we receive around 250 to 1000 feedbacks a day a week. Uh, redemption rate about 5 percent, ROI about 2.5. Now this has happened uh, by getting customers on board to the uh, digital platform without any spend on advertisements. Uh, outside the CCD ecosystem, which is the maximum spend would be a poster at the CCD store or through referral campaigns. No social media, no TV, no newspaper. Um, we are, the, we've tried employee incentive. Uh, we've got mixed results. There was one funny story where in Bangalore International Airport, there was one, there was a store which was doing extremely well in terms of onboarding, not so much as repeat. Uh, if you've been to the International Airport, you can see a cafe coffee near the parking lot over there where you pass it. So what happened, what we found was over there, the, the staff were actually uh, so at that time the incentive was about 100 beans with which you can buy one free coffee. But these guys are very creative, the, on, uh, the staff, uh, the store staff. So what, what that person would do, whenever somebody is passing by, he would actually say, sir, you buy a coffee and get a 100 rupees mug free. So he would take the money for the coffee, uh, if, uh, take the 100 rupees for the coffee, but actually bill it for the mug and give him, ask him to install the app and give him the coffee free. So people didn't want to really buy the coffee, but they got the merchandise. Now, we, we didn't understand what was going on in that store. We went there, we checked what he's doing, and we found out what's happening. And it was great. I mean, it was, we obviously asked him to stop because of misdirection. And that was not the target audience for the app. So, because app, this, is, this app is for a person who values coffee and sandwiches and ambience. This person just wanted a mug free and he left. So, we obviously asked him to stop that. But when, India, the, when you go down to the grassroots, when this person was earning only 10,000 rupees a month, in the store, these people are extremely creative and those things do not work as planned. So you need to adapt constantly, you need to have your ears very close to the ground, which Cafe Coffee Day is doing, really good at doing. Uh, the, the, the recipe for this success, I think Mr. Venkatesh actually is a key contributor, I'll let him take that part of the presentation. Hi, I'm Audible. Yeah. There is a saying that small beginnings Incremental improvement, sustained progress will lead to humongous possibilities. That's what we did at uh, CCD. We did not start with a perfect start, but we started with simple, kept improving, and as we learned on the way. Basic objective was to start a loyalty program. You know, our idea was to capture the customer information with Arnan Ban. Uh, then, you know, uh, as Rahul mentioned, you know, the major thing was we have more than 1,500 cafes across more than 250 cities across India. It was a big challenge for us to roll out. So we started simple. Uh, you know, we uh, started capturing the customer information for earning and burning the beans. Then, you know, we started, you know, the program with, you know, allow, uh, how to increase the bill size, you know, by giving some promotions. And we started promoting the products through this app. Then we started looking at, you know, how do we enhance the customer experience? Uh, and also, like, you know, we have 250 cities and, you know, 1,500 stores. We didn't roll out All India at a time. You know, we took a stage manner and we did a rollout phased manner. By launching the app, you know, initially, like, you know, with the only the Arnan Ban, then later, you know, phased rollout, we started even the in-app ordering that we started in Karnataka and now we are rolling out across India. Uh, so we have seamlessly, you know, integrated with our POS with the QR code and a web API. For new initiative, you know, we have worked with the walk-ins team and uh, to determine, you know, what are the measures for success. By keeping our business ads always on, we were able to prioritize and uh, filter projects that had high return on investment. The modular rollout release new feature incremental and this helped us for last mile adoptions. Because training, you know, if you look at 5,000 uh, team members across 1,500 stores, it was not an easy job. And you know we are dealing with gross of uh, customers who are walking into the cafe, so this was a big challenge, uh, you know, uh, rollout faced by trying our team and you know ensure that customers when they walk in, you know, they get this uh, the loyalty benefits. Uh, and uh, thanks to the ecosystem where you know we were able to re uh, onboard the customers and you know provide them a free coffee when we are onboarding. And also, like, you know, we started the incentive program for our customer. This has helped to build a good ecosystem, which, you know, really helped CCD. On top of that, I want to cover one or two points. Like, you know, he said we are launching a service app for our uh, field staff. Uh, one is uh, 
uh, for the cafe coffee day you know we have various equipments at the cafe where uh, you know this uh, app will be used for servicing these equipments other than that actually i think you know a lot of people you know they are not aware we have another business called beverages division wherein you know we are having around 52000 vending machines spread across 20000 corporates in india i think we are one of the largest in india where we have 52000 vending machines and these are serviced by around 1000 uh, service technicians this help you know app will help us to you know service this uh, vending machines faster and you know improve the efficiencies there and we are working with getwork and you know uh, they are able to help us with whatever the thing we are looking at there you know i think we are getting a good support and a good product. thank you so uh, i'll just extend that just talk a little bit more about the company uh walkin is actually a hybrid of uh, consulting and product so uh, we do have a dedicated uh, domain team that st- that you know uh, engages with the business team and gets things done and solution years projects uh, for the brand uh we are uh, a small team of only 30 people but uh, the 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 team has been collected from great companies like we have ex aadhar ex google ex sap i am from analytics ocean so a lot of people have come together great minds uh we're trying to do uh revolutionize basically brick and mortar so the focus is only on brick and mortar uh retail stores and especially on the indian context um we use only uh open source ke technology like hadoop python uh graphql uh, Re- uh react native is what we use for the front end building as well uh that's about it uh, if uh, any questions any feedback you can experience some of this uh, if you just download the cafe coffee day app obviously i mean the ccd you can find anywhere on this road also you might find a few so just go ahead and download you can experience how you can online order and pay and give feedback on the system thank you okay thank you thanks right thanks right